Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison. But these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of Black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 14, Carolyn Rogers. Although Carolyn Rogers was closely associated with many of the best-known African-American poets of the second half of the 20th century, her writing remains somewhat less familiar than the work of peers like Gwendolyn Brooks, Audre Lorde, or Sonia Sanchez. Having studied the craft of poetry extensively, Rogers began writing stridently feminist and radically anti-racist work at the height of the civil rights movement in the 1960s. Although she was affiliated with the influential black arts movement during this time, many of her ideas and methods as a poet rankled both white and black sensibilities. Her poetry unapologetically advocated for black women's equality, often using profanity and explicit sexual imagery alongside more conventional poetic language. From the late 1970s onwards, Rogers tamped down her overt militancy somewhat, but remained a powerfully poetic champion of black women until her death in 2010. Now let's listen to a recording of Rogers herself reading Prodigal Objects, a poem from later in her career that contains elements of the various themes that are present throughout her work from the 1960s onwards. Sorry about the buzz in the background of this. When I lose something, I am all out in the streets looking for it. It doesn't matter if I lost it at home or school or at church. I think maybe I'll see it away across town in impossible places. Department stores, restrooms, hospitals, lobbies, telephone booths, earrings, gloves, books, buttons, notebooks, pens. I'm looking for them all. I say maybe I lost whatever it is in California. And here I am in Chicago, 2,000 miles away, looking for it. Or maybe I lost it in Africa. And one day I get a certain feeling, and I'm in Chicago, and I know I lost it 400 years ago in Africa. But on this particular day, I just know I'm going to find it in Chicago. Doesn't matter what it is. No, it really doesn't matter what it is or where I lost it either. What matters is the feeling of finding. There is a law of finding. What matters is finding on lost days. And I'm finding that some days what matters as much is being found. For more information about Rogers and more examples of her work, follow the link at the top of this page to the Poetry Foundation's website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, you'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam, as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio.